Uh, elderly patients uh, have uh, to start with both males and females, everyone thinks of females, an issue with bone health. Uh, osteopenia and osteoporosis are prevalent. Some of our treatments will increase the risk of having osteopenia and osteoporosis, and especially hormonal manipulations that will reduce the testosterone level or the estrogen level in these patients. This may be one of the reasons why in some hormonally related tumors like prostate cancer and breast cancer, there are bone metastases. We now have excellent evidence that the use of bisphosphonates in the uh, setting of uh, early treatment, adjuvant treatment of breast cancer, will reduce the uh, mortality related to the cancer, and this seems to be related to reduction in bone metastasis. So these are very exciting data and have been uh, uh, the object of a meta-analysis published by the EBCTCG under the guidance of Rob Coleman. In prostate cancer, we do have evidence that we can reduce the impact of bone metastasis and to some extent uh, there has been a discussion that uh, using bone protecting agents might reduce the incidence of bone metastasis but this is still not a proven indication for these types of compounds. Once the patient with any type of cancer has bone metastasis, uh, we have uh, uh, excellent data to show that both denosumab and bisphosphonates have to be applied because they will reduce the risk of subsequent incidents uh, of uh, bone-related events, as we say, uh, simply said, uh, need for treatment because of the bone metastasis given to the patient uh, signs and symptoms or uh, the uh, fact that unfortunately they will, might develop a fracture if uh, we do not use these agents. Uh, there, uh, there are a lot of data today to say that uh, we do not need to be as intensive in the treatment of the metastatic setting with monthly use of bisphosphonates, uh, but uh, most experts say that the first few months you should use monthly bisphosphonate when we are speaking of intravenous bisphosphonates, which are the best studied in that setting, and then we can go to an every three month treatment, which is not yet proven with denosumab. So, the whole setting has been discussed by SIOG, the International Society of Geriatric Oncology. There is a guideline uh, that uh, has been published uh, with the first author, Jean-Jacques Baudy, uh, a couple of years ago, which is still actual today and uh, will be, however, revised as an ESMO guideline uh, in the next few months. So uh, I'll be more than happy to come back to eCancer sometime next year with the new ESMO uh, bone metabolism related guidelines. Great. Both the nozumab and the bisphosphonates are relatively well tolerated agents. Uh, in the first treatment, uh, some patients will have what we call an acute phase reaction, uh, which grossly uh, we tell the patients you might have kind of a flu for a couple of days. Uh, usually this does not happen in the subsequent treatments, and we explain this as being an immune reaction at the beginning, which is then not repeated. Uh, the uh, annoying part of the uh, monthly treatment in the metastatic setting, uh, as I said, for bisphosphonates uh, is uh, now uh, a situation solved by the fact that we have good evidence that every three months after a few months of stabilization of the situation is good enough. In the other setting, we are not quite certain that we can delay the use of uh, denosumab after every three months in the metastatic setting. It is very important also to realize that in the adjuvant setting, where there are no metastases, the use of these agents every six months is recommended. And contrary to a uh, widely held belief that there is this uh, terrible complication called osteonecrosis of the jaw with bone-modifying agents, this does not happen 
in an every six month treatment. It does unfortunately happen when an intensive monthly treatment is given. Therefore, the recommendation that all of these patients should have preventative uh, oral hygiene measures uh, in order to uh, avoid uh, subsequent uh, m uh, dental dentist uh, approaches uh, that would need a tooth extraction that would then be complicated by this osteonecrosis. Mm -hmm.